what's up, what's up, how's everybody doing, how's your mama doing? Now everybody heard that Katie Holmes got full custody of Siri, her daughter, and Tom Cruise got visitation. And I'm kind of, I'm glad that Katie Holmes got full custody of the little girl because if Tom Cruise would have got custody of that little girl, that girl, that little girl would never have a life. That little girl be fucked up because of Scientology. Well, the court says that Tom Cruise cannot talk about Scientology or teach the girl about Scientology to me. I I say thank you, Judge, whoever you are, for saying that because the little girl don't really need to be around that little shit, that little bullshit of fake religion. But if I guess, but you, but this come across your mind. I know this got to come across your mind because it came across mine. It's like it gets visitations. Now you heard stories about parents kidnapping their own kids and flying out the country, right? I said to me that came across my mind about Tom Cruise like this motherfucker's gonna jack that little girl go across the country and start teaching this little girl about Scientology because he'll pull shit like it if you think about it he's got all the money he wants and he can pull this shit and then he got science time not cause one thing is what really got me fucked up was what was it last month John Travolta got caught up in some shit see how fast everybody forgot about this shit so quickly look how fast everybody forgot about that now we on see what I'm saying see, see what happened start off with John Travolta now Tom Cruise something's going on for Scientology to be falling apart and all these people and it's funny how people are coming out the woodworks about Scientology what is going on for that what's going on Come on, y'all. Something's going on if fuckers are coming out the woodworks on Scientology. Because there's no way in hell. There is no way in hell. Because <laughs> like, one thing is, it's funny because over the years, ain't nobody came out about Scientology except for that one girl back in the day when she was trying to leave and ended up getting killed. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? But now, since everybody coming out about Scientology, about oh, they really brainwash these kids, they put them on this fucking boat, they make them slaves out of these kids, they teach them how to be disciplined, and they started talking about people that was in Scientology. What really fucked me up was that. Jen, that girl that played Diamond Gray, Jenna Elfman. To me, she's fine as hell. But to find out that she's in Scientology, and then you find out uh, Elvis's daughter's in Scientology, and uh, what's her name, Christy Alley, is in Scientology. Do you really want to. <laughs> like, for real. Like, for real, though. Like, do you really want to be on that sinking ship? <laughs> for real, that's something else. Do you really want to be on that sinking ship? And all like this and that because I think man since the since the John Travolta shit and the Tom Cruise shit it seems like Scientology is gonna take one hell of five fall because they because to me I don't even like to me I don't even believe in the fucking fuck ass religion because one thing is what really got me fucked up was where got me fucked up is where <coughs> uh uh what got me fucked up is where people believe in such something that's so fucking fake and phony what I'm talking about is how can anybody like for real man how can anybody believe in a science fiction novel novel science fiction writer I, like for real like this a science fiction writer wrote science fiction and he created science Tazi. why would anybody believe that like I love Star Wars like a motherfucker I love Star Wars like a motherfucker I love him but if George, George Lucas decides to create his own religion called Star Wars 
Pentecostal church. I couldn't. I say no. Y'all be like, you know what? I love Star Wars. Wookie is my nick. I mean, Wookie is my homeboy. But I cannot get in that religion because you wrote science fiction movies. You wrote Indiana Jones. I can't get into that. I can't get into that. I can't get into that religion. Because he wrote a fake, he wrote science fiction movies, fake. Special effects, special effects and shit like that. Now, why would anybody believe in something that a science fiction writer wrote? Why? Why would anybody? Why would any? And I can tell you this. I tell you this, and I love these people so much. I'm glad they hate. I love these people. Anonymous. I give them so much fucking respect. I give them more respect than any motherfucker on this planet. I give them respect because them motherfuckers know know the truth about the shit that's really going on. And I can't sit there and hate on them. I can't sit there and talk shit about them. Because they really hate Scientology's. But hate Scientology more than I do. And. And I tell you this. The reason why I say this is because. These people hated them so much and they wanted the government to realize that Scientology is a fucking cult. I know Scientology is a cult. I'm glad that judge that gave Katie Holmes full custody of this little girl knows that Scientology is a cult. But the government need to realize it's a fucking cult. If them, if the government can sit there and bust them fucking people down in Texas at, them compound, at the compound, you can definitely bust them motherfuckers up in that church up in Scientology church cause there is no way in hell a fucking church is gonna have a fucking hotel and a fucking cruise ship I do not see a gonna be kinda fucked up cause I don't see a synagogue welcome to synagogue inn welcome to Abraham inn whatever you think is kosher we leave the menorah on for you you don't see that. You don't see a synagogue with a fucking church and a cruise ship. Even though Jews, some Jews have got money on them. But you don't see synagogues with uh, with uh, hotel and cruise ships. You don't see a mosque with a cruise ship and a hotel. You don't see that. You don't see a uh, welcome to Allah. Allah. Uh, Allah. In. Allah. Welcome to Allah. In. Where we leave the turban on you for you, my friend, or the other Muslims, where welcome to Elijah Muhammad, where we leave the pork outside. You don't see these fucking religions with hotels and cruise ships. And I'm glad that judge had enough common sense to sit up here and say, you know what, I'm gonna give this woman full custody of this little girl because she definitely don't need to be in that. And, and, and I, I'm still sitting up here, but it's it's just weird. It's just weird to me to find out that people, that all these celebrities are getting into this. Even people from Mad Men and other shows got money. All, all these celebrities are getting on to getting into this Scientology shit and I'm sitting up there wondering I was like look is it getting to a point where I don't want to watch TV shows no more because I watch a TV shows or watch a watch a movie listen to music if you're going to find out that all the celebrities rappers and singers are into that Illuminati and that Scientology bullshit And that's how it is. It has it come has it came down to this where like I really don't wanna listen like really don't wanna watch nothing entertain I really don't wanna read a book. If a fuck it look you probably say, What you mean read a book? Think about it. Anybody like all these damn people that writes a novel or self health books is 
makes good ass money off these damn books and they can be in Scientology just as well so I say oh you're crazy just think about it just think about it <clears throat> it's getting to the point where anything that can entertain a person like any person like any actor singer rapper you can't like I really can't like I really don't want to watch TV no more I really don't want to listen to music no more I really it's gotten to a point where it's all about two things in the entertainment industry it's either the Illuminati or Scientology if you ain't in one you gotta be in the other one if you ain't in both of them man you're dead Scientology killed one woman cause she wanted to get out the fucking popos wanna play play Riri back in the 90's and, oh it was, she had an accidental death ain't no way in here she had an accidental death or she had a heart problem probably wonder what the hell I'm talking about look that was an incident back in the day where this woman joined Scientology back in like eight, late 80's early 90's and she gave up everything She like the church wanted her like all her money like every dollar she earns had to go to Scientology her car was uh, anything she owns belongs to Scientology she got sick and tired of being with the Scientology so she wanted to leave she tried to leave, she tried to get away it got to a point where they wasn't gonna let her like they wasn't gonna let her walk out so they tried to shut her more like a mob hit and they tried to say she got sick and what they did was they didn't want to take care of her because they wanted her to shut up and they end up killing the bitch I'm for real, this actually a true story. I'm not lying. But I, I, I just can't get, I, I'm just, I just can't, if I, I, like for real, I feel bad for any person that wants to get into the industries because, into the entertainment industry because you got either, you either gotta, you either, you either do some homosexual bullshit just to get, homosexual bullshit and sacrifice your loved ones just to get paid and famous or you gotta join a bullshit church a bullshit church that your fucking kids gotta be put on a cruise ship and sent way out in the middle of fucking BFE or out in the boondocks and it's kinda fucked up though that the whole entertainment industry is based on the Illuminati and fucking Scientology and there's people still that wanna get off into that entertainment shit like fuck that shit man if being famous if being famous is where you gotta give up your religion or give up your family or you gotta sacrifice your loved ones and do some gay shit just to get famous fortune fuck that shit I don't wanna get famous I love my family and my life a little bit too much for some bullshit like it where I gotta join a fucked up church where I gotta give up my world possessions. I thought, I, and it's kind of bad though. If you can't, cause one thing is, it's like this. If you marry somebody, like cause one thing is it's kind of bullshit because it's all, it's like it's, all them celebrities that you see are either in the Illuminati or uh, Scientology if it's somebody if it's a celebrity that's in the Scientology that's in the Scientology and they marry somebody that's not that person that they're dating or they marry it's got to join join the, the uh, uh, Scientology if not it won't work and then you hear about Tom Cruise Science Times he was recruiting wives for him was recruiting recruiting wives for Tom Cruise why was anybody recruiting a fucking woman for a piece of I, I was like you pimping this motherfucker out if you gotta recruit a woman to be with him you is pimping this motherfucker out and he ain't getting paid for it. So you, Science Tanji is the pimp. And Tom Cruise is the hoe. That's all that is. Tom Cruise the hoe. And Science Tanji is the pimp. It's funny. Ain't nobody. Like when Isaac Hayes died. 
you ain't heard nobody say nothing about science conscious you but uh, you heard your oh it was sad that I the case that when South Park made fun of uh of science conscious that's when I was the case quit but you never heard somebody say anything about South Park poking fun of besides I the case saying I quit because you making fun of science conscious now you ought to know when, when South Park makes fun of people they make fun of everybody same with Family Guy and same with American Dad because one thing is Isaac Hayes knew that, he, that the creators of South Park are going to make fun of gays lesbians uh, transgenders transvestites, cross-dressers pedophiles, rapists everybody in every religion from Allah to Buddha to Jesus to God to whatever religion you down with and ain't nobody said nothing about, got pissed off and said nothing besides Isaac Hayes. When they was fuck making fun of Scientology, ain't nobody came out the woodwork and said, I think South Park, I think the creators of South Park was wrong. Ain't nobody said nothing besides Isaac Hayes. And he ended up leaving the show because of it. He was, Isaac Hay was fine when they was making fun of Jesus and God and Buddha and Allah and Elijah Muhammad, so on and so forth. But when it came down to science times, he got pissed off. I'm, I'm wondering, is this the year where, is this the year where science times falls apart? I hope it is. I hope, I hope this is the year where. Science Tanji finally falls apart and just <clears throat> no more Science Tanji. That's what I'm hoping it's for. I hope before this year is out that Science Tanji just <clears throat> I'm not talking about motherfuckers going to ground, trying to be like them Freemason motherfuckers. No, I'm talking about just <clears throat> kill that religion off for good. Because if it is, man, I'm happy as hell, man, just for that, man. Just for that. So you won't hear nobody bitching. Uh, you don't hear, you wanna have to hear about nobody bitching. You wanna have to hear about, oh, if you're a celebrity, you gotta believe in a fake ass religion that started by a fucking science fiction writer. I'm free. I will never join a fucking church that was started by somebody that wrote science fiction or made science fiction movies or it made or anybody that made up a, f then he made up movies or like Mother Goose stories and shit like that. That'd be bullshit. If it's, we said, well, you believe in God and Jesus. I said, yeah, I believe in God and Jesus. So does people believe in Elijah Muhammad. Same with people that believe in Allah. Same with people believe in Buddha. Same with people believe in other gods. Same as well. But that was millions and millions of years ago. This was done in the uh, Science Times. It was done back in the 1950s or 60s. You know what I'm saying? So when every other religion was made back in millions and millions and millions and millions of years ago, Scientology was made what? Uh, what? 60 to 70 years, or probably like 60 to 70 or 80 years back. Like I said, I'm glad that she got her kid. But if I was the judge, if I was the judge, I would definitely say let him get up. Uh, what was it? Over, uh, what's that shit called? Where he got to be watched every time? gotta be watched when he visit uh has uh gets to see his daughter because you don't want to happen because y'all want y'all don't want to have that shit happen like that jason power dude kill both his sons and set the house on fire because you really don't want tom cruise to kill this little girl and blow his house up and shit like that or he get see what i'm saying but like I said, man, this is, this is, uh, this is, to me, I think it's a joyful day for her. Because I really don't want that little girl to grow up thinking that the world believes in something that is not there. I mean, not like that, not, I mean, like, I don't want this little girl to grow up thinking that we came from aliens. Or that a fucking science fiction writer was God. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. If you don't like what I got to say, you can kiss my ass. If you like what I got to say, leave a video comment, uh, leave a video response or a comment and tell me what you think.
peace, love, and chicken gravy. Fuck you, Scientology. I'll be burning here for all I care. Peace.